Welcome back to the channel guys. So in this episode I have this. This is a Pophos or a Devil's Ivy and I'm going to be showing you how you can propagate this from these long stems that this plant gives out. So I'm going to be showing you what to do and then I'm going to be also showing you the results in the same video. So stick around to the end guys and I'll show you all you need to know. Okay then guys so the aim of the game with a Pophos is to take a leaf cutting with some stems still attached to it. So you can see on this plant that there is some really nice long stems. So if I wanted to I could take this really long one off and each one of these leaves you'd make a cut and turn into its own cutting and its own plant. But I'm going to leave this long one because I've got that trailing up my picture rail in my dining room so I want to keep that. I'm going to take off this smaller one to the side here. So I'm going to make a cut just there. If you're concerned about making a cut on the plant like I've done there and doing damage to the plant don't worry because eventually a new stem will sprout from that position and you'll get a new stem a new new set of leaves so it does tend to bounce back. So I've got my stem piece here so I've got one two three four five six leaves on here so this is going to make hopefully six plants. These are leaf nodes. You can see there's little brown bumps at the bottom of each of these leaves on the stem. This is where the roots are going to come out on this plant. The aim of the game is to take a stem piece. We'll start with this one and make a cut there. That is one stem cutting and these will root really easily. Pophos tends to be really easy to propagate. I'll take it off there and then I'll take it off there. Not sure how that will do with the damaged leaf but we'll give it a go anyway. So we'll just trim that back to there. Take our third cutting. So it's really important guys that you get a piece of the stem. Don't just take the the leaf off. You have to get a piece of the stem otherwise uh, roots won't grow. We'll just trim that back. We'll take that to there. Get some roots growing out of that probably. That one's already starting to sprout a new leaf. Generally the, the tip of the stem is a bit harder to grow roots um, but we'll give it a go anyway and we'll show you how it gets on. So now that we've done that if you wanted to you could dip the stem pieces into the into some rooting powder just to speed up the process. This is just a powder that you can put your cuttings into. It speeds up the process of it taking roots and it also increases the success rate. But like I say Pophos tends to be really easy to root and grow new plants so I think it's not really needed so I'm going to put it to one side and we're going to plant these up. So my method, one that I usually go for with propagating is to use a homemade propagation box. So this is just a tote box filled with perlite that's been moistened and as you can see I've got some cuttings in here from previous videos that I've done. So all you want to do is take your cuttings and simply place them gently in just make sure it's covered and that should be fine so you can line them all up next to each other don't worry too much about the leaves touching the the perlite it's not a super wet mix so it should be fine just go relatively deep into the perlite the stem piece so there you have it guys i've got my six stem cuttings in my propagation box all that's needed now is just to give it a good spray with your water spray just to Make sure it has enough humidity in here, enough moisture. Once you've done that, put the lid on. This ideally should be a clear lid, but it doesn't seem to affect past cuttings that I've done in here. Put the lid on, put it in a bright spot. Check on the moisture levels in the box. You don't want it to go dry. Don't want it to be soggy though, where it's got puddles at the bottom. And in a few weeks, those should develop roots. All right guys, so it's been about 10 weeks since I did that propagation and there has been some action in the propagation box. So let's go and have a look. All right then, let's take the lid off this box and have a look at what we've got in here. So let's have a look at this leaf in particular because as you can see, when I pull it out, there is not only is there some roots, but there is also a new leaf sprouting. So really interesting that it's already started to sprout roots in this propagation box. But the roots look nice and strong and healthy, so that's good to see. Have a look at the others, pull these out carefully. So the roots on this one, a little bit shorter, probably half an inch, an inch maybe on that root. 
And this one's a nice long root, probably one and a half inches. Looks very healthy, very strong. So these are ready to be potted up when they get to this kind of length. Oh, this one's not got any roots for some reason. Wonder why this one didn't get any roots. Looks like it might be starting to sprout just there. So I might put that one back or I might just put it straight into the, into the soil pot. And there's this one here that's got a nice strong root as well. So that's ready to be potted up. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna pot these up into one pot. I'm gonna go for quite a large pot. I'm gonna put them all in one pot just so I've got a nice full plant. And this pot fits nicely into this decorative pot. So the two work quite nicely. And as it grows out and gets bigger and bigger, it'll be a nice, interesting plant. So I'm just gonna fill my pot up with soil. There you have, I filled this pot up with some nice free draining potting soil. So I've got compost and perlite, about 30% perlite, 70% com compost. So to pot these cuttings up, let's just first work out where they're gonna go roughly. I will pot that into here as well, even though it's got no roots. I'm sure it will develop roots in here. So I want them just draping over the edge of this pot. So probably something like that will do. You want a good base layer of soil, then you want to have your cuttings resting on top like so, and then you just want to bury the roots of each of your cuttings until they are propped up nicely in the pot like so. so you want to be relatively careful when you're potting these up, you don't want to break the roots off, you'll be back to square one. So that's that one. I'm just gonna go around and do all of these. Put some soil around it. Okay, so I've got those cuttings more or less in the position I want them in. So I've buried them a little bit, so now I'm just gonna top up the soil around these. Around these cuttings, just to fill up the pots. Just give it a gentle press, just to make sure they're relatively compact in the pot and they're not gonna fly around. There you have it, so they're in position now. Lots of soil in there, so they shouldn't be going anywhere. Next thing to do is just give the pot a good water. So for that, I'm gonna put it into here to stop the water going all over my table. Like so, perfect fit. And just wanna give it a good soak all the way around these cuttings. The good thing about propagating in perlite and not water is that there's not gonna be any shock when you put the cuttings into soil because they're already developed roots in a not too wet environment such as water. So when you do water propagations, they need to be acclimatized to developing their roots further in the soil, which is what, what we've not been used to. So this is a really simple way of doing it. So I'll probably let that drain through for a few minutes and then I'll go and empty it over to the sink. I think that's gonna look really nice when it starts to grow out. These leaves, once new stems start to grow, these leaves will probably die back. It's generally what happens with a cutting, the original leaf that you use to make the cutting normally kind of goes yellow, shrivels up and dies and makes way for the fresh new stems and new leaves to push out growth. So that's why I'm not really worried about this leaf here being broken. Eventually I'll probably have to cut all these off as they weaken and new growth comes through. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Hope you found it useful. If you did, then please do give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much.